In today's video, we're gonna talk about how to reverse audio in GarageBand. It only takes a couple of clicks and it's really easy, so let's dive in. All right, so we're here inside of an original project that I've been working on in GarageBand, and I'm in the chorus of the song. I'll play a little snippet of it and then show you how to reverse audio. Even when it all falls So that's a feel for the song and what I want to do is add a reverse symbol right here at the end of the chorus to help finish it out. So right there. So what I'm going to do is go into my loops. I'm going to search for symbol and I know that I want this symbol right here. And I'm simply going to drag that loop into its own track down here at the bottom. And then all we have to do to reverse any piece of audio is double click it. Or you can also go up to the scissor tool here or hit E on your typing keyboard and then hit reverse playback. I mean, it's really that simple. All right, so now that it's reverse, what I'm gonna do is actually chop this thing down because I want it to be exact. I don't need all of that. So I want even bars when I reverse so it's easy to move around. And now I'm gonna simply slide it back to the part of the song I want. And I need that symbol to finish right here. So I'm just gonna drag it back into place and you can see it's right on the line. And now if I back it up, there we go. So for me, that's just a little piece to kind of build up into a break. And so it works perfectly for that, okay? So another way that you can reverse things is simply reversing a vocal. You can grab a loop out of here, but I'll just grab this piece of the chorus and copy and paste it over here and then just do the same thing. I just hit reverse playback and... Sounds like I'm speaking a different language. And it's not that you would keep all of that. You might chop that up or use it for some intro piece or something cool. But the, the main premise is you can reverse audio in GarageBand. It's really easy. It's really fast. And it can become this really creative production piece, whether it's reversing a cymbal, reversing a vocal, reversing maybe a piano line or something like that you can reverse just about anything. My last point on reversing audio is that you can't actually reverse MIDI audio. So what you would have to do is solo out that piece, go to share and export it, then export that piece as an uncompressed AIFF file. You would export it and then bring it back into your project, but now it's gonna look like an audio file like any other, it would be like a loop basically, and then you can loop it as an audio file. So if you wanna reverse your MIDI, that's the only way that I found to do it in GarageBand. So I hope this is helpful guys, and I will see you in the next video.